Are tin whiskers a problem? POS could be the solution. As you may know, POS nanostructured chemicals all contain an inorganic silica cage at the core and organic groups at the corners of the cage. This hybrid structure is the source of POS's unique hybrid properties. If one of the organic groups is replaced with a thiol functionality, a POS thiol is formed. These POS thiols are a key component of the sprayable polyimide coating POS shortstop. POS shortstop is a super hydrophobic, sprayable, transparent polyimide conformal coating for electronic application. In addition to being tough, highly adhesive, and fire resistant, shortstop can suppress the formation of tin whiskers and thereby prevent destructive short circuits. Tin whiskers grow on pure tin surfaces in regions of high compressive stress, such as at the grain boundaries and bright tin coatings. The POS thiol reacts with the tin oxides at the grain boundary. The thiol group protonates the tin oxide bonds and forms tin sulfur linkages. The 1.5 nanometer diameter of the cages helps to relieve mechanical stress directly at or near the metal grains and thereby reduce the number of whisker nucleation sites. If whiskers do begin to form, shortstop's high modulus polyimide matrix will force the whisker to buckle and fold under the coating, preventing any whiskers from contacting uncoated components. POS shortstop is easy to use, like any spray can. Here, a typical RAM chip is used to demonstrate the use of POS shortstop. A typical 0.5 mil coating is achieved in two to three passes. The coating is dry to the touch in five minutes and completely dry within 30 minutes. The dry coating is resistant to many common organic solvents but can be easily removed with methyl ethyl ketone. Without shortstop, a tin solder can begin to form whiskers within 30 days. With the shortstop coating, the solder surface stays smooth and free of whiskers. With POS Shortstop from Hybrid Plastics, you can protect your electronics from the dangers of tin whiskers. Have some questions? Contact us. One of our scientists would be glad to help.